Hey guys. Uh, just so you know, I've, I've moved um, to a more active place, so you guys may be able to hear everything. Stray Cat Reviews is a series where you and me get to feed our lovable friends, aka cats. They're our family, and me and you are co-parenting in this relationship, and we're doing a damn good job. Regardless, episode three. Wow, who would have thought? This is a very special episode of Stray Cat Reviews, and that is because instead of a viewer actually sending us food in today's episode, like the last two, we actually have a brand. That's right, a brand sent us product. I know, I know. <laughs> so this was months back, believe it or not, which means the footage is just as old. In fact, not every cat you see in this video is considered an active member of the channel. We'll get more into that in a bit. It sounds super ominous, it's really good news, I swear. But I had to pick a delightful little colony for us to get into. Please say hello to Tirehold, located in the auto shop. Now you can say hi to these guys every Sunday on twitch.tv slash apoinsetia. But you have to be very early because this is the first colony I feed. A lot of viewers will miss, they'll kind of join in the middle of the stream. And I wanted to show these guys off and have them have their own video for us to refer to. Now let's get into the food brand for today. The food brand is none other than Made by Nacho. Now I have to say this is a interesting one. You see Made by Nacho saw our TikTok videos way back and they actually love the cats so much that they wanted to send a sample to us. Now this was a large sample, it was a very generous gift from the company, I'm not even kidding. So we used a lot of the wet food pouches and the cats love them. However, for this video, Made by Nacho actually sent in three fine choices for dry food. For most of the channel, you've probably seen me just use wet food. And I thought, why not switch it up? I, I need to start writing scripts. <laughs> now, the cool thing is it's actually Bobby Flay's personal brand of cat food. Bobby Flay is a confirmed cat lover. So he put his cat Nacho to work. Like father, like son. What a, what a talented little chef he is. Look, you got him in a little chef's outfit and everything. That's the man that's behind everything. That cat right there. There is a lovely little description on the back of the page that gives you a really good insight to what this brand is all about. There's also the nacho promise on the back. I can't spoil everything. You have to buy a bag of this yourself to get into it. Do it. So the packaging to me is already lovely and the flavors are very creative. So the flavors, they were kind enough to hook us up with today. Not today, like months prior, but you know, it's making light today. Is one beef, rabbit and pumpkin flavor recipe. Now that's just one bag. Next up, chicken, duck and quail. And uh, oh, <laughs> uh, my community makes fun of me for never pronouncing it right. I'm sorry, it's like instilled in me at this point. Salmon, 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 salmon. That's the one. Just flipping through all the names in my head. <laughs> Salmon, whitefish, and pumpkin. Again, all of these flavors are dry food, which is gonna be a first for Stray Cat Reviews. Not very ambitious considering we're three episodes in, you know? What a little plot twist. <laughs> Nobody could see this coming in the beloved series. Now I have to say, I do see pumpkin a lot in these recipes. I've had a lot of viewers say it's actually really good for the cats and is super easy to digest. I've been seeing a lot of brands going that route, incorporating pumpkin to any flavor they can. So that's extra points, okay? That's APO approved right there. But my opinion, means nothing, okay? I am merely a mortal here. What does matter is the cats. Let's get into our special cast members for today, one by one as they appear. Sunny D is usually the first to eat in this colony. For such a good boy, I just had to get the chicken, duck, and quail. Sunny D really liked that flavor. He was on it for like minutes. 
That is a yes if I've ever seen one. As far as A poinsettia lore goes, Air Compressor was one of the earliest cats to be seen and named in this colony. I'm very eager to see what his opinion on this brand is going to be. For air compressor, I had to get the beef, rabbit, and pumpkin flavor. Only the best for our boy. It's fair to say that Air Compressor really likes that flavor. I'm gonna mark him down as a yes. Like an F yes. <laughs> We're gonna leave a tray here and put the salmon, whitefish, and pumpkin flavor into it and see who comes out. The first cat to approach is Masha. Norton seemed interested, but the tray was occupied. This brown tabby you see coming in is Mudkip. Luckily, Norton Antivirus has a chance to grab a bite, and he takes quite a few. I'm gonna consider that three yeses for the salmon, whitefish, and pumpkin flavor. Let's add another tray and add chicken, duck, and quail to it. The next cat that we're gonna look at is one of the rarest on the entire channel. This is Goth Girls, unironically one of the best names on the channel. Just getting a name for her was super difficult. Thanks to all the patrons on Patreon that made that possible. And for supporting this video, I see you guys. <laughs> the flavor we're getting Goth Girls is the chicken, duck, and quail. She is so shy that I can't be in the area while we film.
I'm gonna factor her as a yes. The next cat we're gonna go to is a very special cat. This is Aurora. The flavor we're leaving for Aurora is beef, rabbit, and pumpkin. Let's see what she thinks. Aurora seems to be a fan. Wisp is one of the most popular cats on the entire channel. He came out of nowhere, and since then, he has been a love bug for every viewer, even since day one. So to really turn the tables on this episode, and because Wisp is such a great judge of flavor, I just had to leave every individual flavor for Wisp to sample. On the left tray, we have the beef, rabbit, and pumpkin. In the middle tray, we have the chicken, duck, and quail. Oh, man. On the right tray, the final tray, we have salmon, whitefish, and pumpkin. Which flavor will he go for? I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Doesn't know there's food yet. <laughs> I am really eager to see what he thinks. And it seems like Wisp is on the left tray. Now he's on the right tray. He's in the middle tray? Wisp is sampling every flavor just to get a real answer to you guys. I'm glad he's the cat I picked for the three tray flavor thing. I knew he was gonna be a goofball, man. Did you guess all of them? Every single flavor? Wow, look at you. If you guess any of the other flavors, you're still technically right. Now, this video is already special in the Stray Cat Reviews limited series for many reasons, but probably the most important is that two very lovely cats that you see in this video are not on the channel anymore, in a good way. Our good friends, Wisp and Sunny D, have been taken off of the streets and into foster, where they will have a chance to be adopted into a loving home. To do this with adult cats is very difficult. However, they're probably the best candidates for this. It's thanks to the dedicated team of people that also look after the cats, that are putting in the hard work for these guys to get better lives. I'm going to miss Sunny D and Wisp both. They've been one of my favorite parts of every Sunday, and I am beyond honored to be able to share them with so many viewers across the world. He just bumped into my leg. Yes! <laughs> Some of you may not have known these cats, and your only window to them is this short video, but they were absolute gems to share with the channel. I hope you guys are just as happy as I am to say goodbye to them and let them live healthy, long lives, full of love, full of attention, and full of catnip. Thank you guys so much for making this video possible, making me being able to feed many hungry cats possible, and from the cats, giving them love, affection, attention, and a warm, 
meal. You guys may perceive it as a small act, but for the cats you've seen in this video, every live stream, every video, it means the world to them. So let me know which was your favorite cat to see in the video, and let me know which flavor of Made by Nacho you would like to try, or maybe don't. <laughs> It's totally fine too. I feel like there's better ways to get viewer engagement. <laughs> Special thanks to the patrons like these beautiful names that you see on the screen. If you would like to see these cats live, join us at twitch.tv slash apointsedia. You get to see how friendly Aurora is now and other cats that have joined this colony, like Storm. If you're really lucky, don't count on it, but you may even see golf girls. You get to see air compressor, which should be reason enough. Feel free to learn about them on apowiki.net, a site made by Autograph2020 and CatLoverMe123. Thank you guys. Having the wiki is so rad. You get to read about the rescues and any other cat that you've seen on the channel that you just want to learn more about, like air compressor. <laughs> I really like this series. If you guys do, I'll make a Stray Cat Reviews 4. End of video.